up guys it's king 1227 fcw back on youtube it's been a while i know it's been a while but i'm gonna try to fix that try to do some daily uploads maybe three times a week videos i'll do a little bit of fortnite videos a little bit of nba videos i'll do some i don't know if you want to see some flash videos like videos about the flash season five Arrow season seven or Supergirl. I mean, I really can't do Supergirl because I'm only up to season two, episode two, I think. Yeah, season two, episode two of Supergirl. I could do DC Legends of Tomorrow. Season four, I could do that. Yeah, what I think is gonna happen, like what what is like looking like, what is looking like the latest news, maybe. Oh, just that stuff, and uh, I'll be posting some Fortnite videos. Uh, I'll probably be posting like sniper in my mic crazy snipes or my crazy plays one of those and i uh, i used to be a trash nooblet in fortnite so some of those clips might have me like most most of my good clips are when i was a trash nooblet some of them were weren't but most of them were so uh let's just get into this video and as you can see by the title it is a uh, western conference standings predictions video and uh this topic in the NBA is pretty, uh, I would say deep, because this is like probably 14 out of the 15 teams are trying to make the playoffs. Uh, 13, I would say. Out of the 15 teams are trying to make the playoffs. But for, as, the, as for the Eastern Conference standings, I'll make a prediction video about that separate after this video. But. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see if I can post it tomorrow or like the day after, or like this week or next week. But let's get it started. So for number fifteen, for the number fifteen spot, I have the Sacramento Kings because De'Aaron Fox and Marvin Bagley, they are not gonna do anything against the Warriors. I'm being straight up honest. The Kings, they they need to rebuild. They need at least one or two more stars to combat the Warriors and, and a few years of development on top of that and I'm I'm not a Warriors fan I I hate the Warriors I hate Kevin Durant I'm an OKC fan so you know why I hate Kevin Durant and uh, don't don't like say don't like don't assume that I'm an OKC fan and I'm just good doing this video to make OKC look good because I'm not I, I'm being fair I might be a little biased but like you guys leave in the comments what your predictions are so uh number 15 was kings yeah i told you the reason number 14 and number 13 is tied like uh, i say it's tied but because the phoenix suns they have a pretty good squad but they might get either the 13th or the 14th seed maybe the 12th maybe the 12th but i say they get the 13th 13th and Los Angeles Clippers get the 14th yeah cuz they're, they're, they're probably like tired cuz the Clippers kind of want to tank I feel like cuz they lost Blake they lost DeAndre they lost CP3 I say they want they want to restart they're probably in rebuilding mode they might tank this season cuz Kawhi might go the Clippers next year next offseason just saying uh, yeah so they probably want a high draft pick to pair along with Kawhi and Tobias Harris maybe they might keep him I don't know if they might trade him or not I'm not sure if they'll trade away Lou Williams because they did sign him to that extension I remember during the season and uh, 13 the Phoenix Suns are currently a young team so yeah that's why they're tied with the Los Angeles Clippers and if you guys hear music in the background if I I don't remember if I mentioned this in the beginning or not but it is 123 and people are literally playing music I know my neighbors are idiots it's 123 a.m. my guy really okay so where are we are number 12 spot right mm -hmm. let's see I say the Dallas Mavericks because they are a team they're a team that can compete I say but they they like it's like they could tank and they could not tank they could tank or make the playoffs i feel like they could get the eight seven seed if they tried but i feel like 
they should tank and they will tank because you already have Luka Doncic, you have Dennis Smith Jr. Uh, you have oh yeah, they just signed DeAndre Jordan, yeah. And they have him for a year only, so if they want, they could replace him for, like, next offseason, maybe for, like, a Kevin Durant or, like, Kawhi Leonard. You never know. If You never know. It's the NBA. Paul George resigned with OKC. Like, people said they he wouldn't. I knew he would resign. You know, I'm an OKC fan. But let's not get off topic. So, I say they're 12. And 11 is the Memphis Grizzlies. I don't think this team will make the playoffs. I don't. I don't think they will. I... I say they don't. And number 10, I say, is the New Orleans Pelicans. Because they lost DeMarcus Cousins and Rajon Rondo, but they got Julius Randle. Julius Randle is no DeMarcus Cousins. And they don't have playoff Rondo or, or like, a guy that could average at least 10 assists a game. But I don't know if Rondo did average 10 assists per game, but he was really good with doing the assists. He got, like, he gave good assists. He was, like... Ball handler, good ball handler. And I don't think Anthony Davis alone and Drew Holiday, if you say, I don't know, if, I don't think he's that good, in my opinion. Like, he's good, but I don't think he's enough to be, like, to, like, get into the playoffs. And, uh, I gave him the 10th seed, yeah. The 9th seed, which I think, the 9th seed, this is, a. Uh, like, it's going to be a down to the last wire 19. Like, kind of like the Denver Nuggets, Minnesota last year. I see the Portland Trailblazers because they got swept by AD alone and Nikola Miritich and Drew Holiday and Rajon Rondo. Rajon Rondo was going to play off Rondo. Nice, nice. And then, you know, the 18s that are going to make the playoffs that I didn't mention. So... Let's go with the 8th seed. Uh, hmm. Looking at the Western Conference standings from last year. Well, I mean, that doesn't really do much because that's last year. Uh, I feel like the Timberwolves. No, 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 no. I see the Spurs will get the 8th seed. And because they lost Kawhi. They, they had the 7th seed last year. I mean... That's because it was tight. It was like one game apart from OKC's fourth seed, I know. But still, they lost They lost Kawhi, bro. And I forgot who else. They lost Tony Parker, yeah. Manu Ginobili might retire. This is me thinking he's going to retire. I don't think he will. But maybe and then the next day or like the time I upload this, maybe it will, you know... Maybe Milano will return. Maybe he'll announce his return or something. But I don't see them getting more than the 18. I think they'll still compete and get, get to the playoffs. But And and uh, I'm not going to tell the first seed yet because that's, you know, until the end. But for the seventh seed, I say the Timberwolves. And I'm just saying Timberwolves because I would have the Lakers as the seventh seed. But they have LeBron. Come on, man. A team with LeBron is not going to be the seventh seed. Uh, Timberwolves, and here's why, here's why. The Timberwolves are good, right? But they were the eight seed last year in a stacked conference. In a stacked conference. It wasn't, it wasn't really stacked, but it was pretty stacked. It was, a. Uh, don't think Andrew Wiggins is going to do that good this year. Jimmy Butler is leaning on going to the Knicks. Yeah, you, you who, man? I'm from New York, so I, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, I, I still have OKC over New York as my favorite team, but I wouldn't mind if New York went the championship here and there, you know? But I have Minnesota as the seventh seed. The sixth seed, I have the Denver Nuggets. No, actually, I have, I have, uh, yeah, I have six seed Denver Nuggets, actually. The Denver Nuggets, actually, no, 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 no. I have the Utah Jazz as the sixth seed. The Jazz. Yeah, the Jazz because they just added Grayson Allen. They still have Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, but I don't think that's enough to go over LeBron. No way, no way they're getting, they're doing better than LeBron, no way. And for the fifth seed, I'd say Lakers, yeah. I feel like it's going to be a tight, like, a tight 
fifth, fourth seed standings like between Denver and Lakers, but I think the Lakers are going to become the fifth seed because they still have young talent. They still have a developing core surrounded by LeBron. I mean, or they still have LeBron surrounded by the developing young core. So I don't think so. And the Denver Nuggets dead guys, yeah, Thomas. So I think that could put them to the fourth seed. And, uh, yeah. And the third seed, there's only three teams left. Uh, Golden State, Houston, and OKC. And I kind of just spoiled the order, but OKC, okay, I have them going to the third seed. Like, uh, the third seed and the second seed is going to be kind of like the fourth and fifth. It's going to be like a tight race to the second, third. Because I feel like with the loss of Carmelo Anthony, I, it's not a loss. It's kind of like more like a, you know, win. Because Carmelo's not been doing that good on the Thunder. I don't think he's going to do that good on the Rockets either. I, if he's a catch-and-shoot player, maybe he'll do good. Maybe if he comes off the bench. But if he does come off the bench, I'll be pissed. Because if he didn't want to come off the bench in OKC, then why would you come off the bench for Houston? Like, what's the point of just switching teams then if you don't want to come off the bench? I don't know, but I have OKC's third seed. And it's going to be a first-round rematch between the Jazz. Probably, I'd say, yeah. And Jazz, they... We have we have Dennis Schroeder off the bench, so I don't think the Jazz should be a problem. And we have Nerlens Noel off the bench. And we did sign uh, Hamidou Diallo for a four-year contract, worth like three point something mil. I forgot. Yeah, and we have a good rookie, the Hamidou Diallo, and we have Andre Robeson returning. So I would say we win against the Jazz, but that's just me. In the two seed, I have the Houston Rockets because. Just because they're the Houston Rockets and they had the first seed last year, and they added Melo, which if he's a catch and shoot player, he'll be good. Even if he's not, they still have Harden and CP3, same team as last year, except the loss of Trevor Ariza, that kind of hurt them. But if they had like a shooter or two, I think it's a guaranteed two spot. Maybe they might get the third spot, and OKC might get the two spot, just because they lost Trevor Ariza. But yeah, you, you never know. It's it's really it's really uh. I'm undecidable right now at this point because whatever factors in but I still say Houston gets the second seed and of course the five all-stars on one team Golden State Warriors gets the first seed and if you disagree with me you're an idiot Warriors with five all-stars and Andre Iguodala off the bench and Jordan Bell off the bench and Quinn Cook off the bench Jordan Bell is really good, actually. I don't know if people don't think he's good, but he's really good. Quinn Cook is actually nice. Andre Iguodala is still pretty good. But he's getting old, so. I mean, if there is a team that beats Golden State, it will have to be either OKC or Houston. Yeah, I don't think any other team could beat them, except maybe the... I don't think the Lakers could beat them unless they get Kawhi next year. Maybe they could force it to seven or beat them because it's five All-Stars. I don't think any team's close to beating them. Maybe the Celtics might beat them. Hey, maybe. maybe. But that's a video for another time because this is a Western Conference standing. It's not the Eastern Conference. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and just comment what, comment what you think is going to be the actual standings. Because I know people are going to disagree. But if you have a different, different opinions in the comment section, don't don't be like, oh, you're an idiot to different people or me. I don't care if you say that to me. But just if someone else comments, don't be like you're an idiot just because you're a fan of some team. And your team in their line, predictions isn't the seed you projected it to be. Just, just be like, oh, that's your opinion. This is mine. And just... Write what your opinion is, I guess. And this has been a long video. It's gonna... One of my first long videos. That's crazy. Uh, Alright, guys. Peace.